Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In today's video tutorial I want to demonstrate how to use our backup system. So those of you that have been using NameHero for quite some time realize we do um, one complimentary backup per night of each cPanel account. So if, whether you have um, a basic web hosting package from us, um, either the Starter Business or Plus, your website, your whole cPanel is backed up each night and then it's, um, it's retained. And, and when we back up cPanel, um, that means it backs up everything, all your files, all your emails, and all your databases. For our reseller customers, this is particularly helpful because we also back up all of your sub-account reseller um, cPanels. So all of your customers are backed up automatically each night. Now the only limitation we have on this, if the account is larger than 20 gigabytes or greater than 100,000 inodes, which we have in our, you can look on our account limits in the knowledge base, uh, we cannot back up those accounts. That would um, create too much of a server strain. So uh, please note um, that's the case with those. But other than that, your account will automatically back up each night and there's no action you have to do. It just automatically works. There's nothing you have to enable it just it just will work but I want to show you where these backups are stored and how they're managed so you can use this for yourself and also you can tell your customers how to use this now um, we the software we're using is called CP remote now they just recently did an update to their GUI their graphical interface so um, that was the purpose of filming this video is to show you the new interface that we're now using on all new deployments here at um, name hero so all you need to do is log into your cPanel account and this is my demo account here so the data is a little bit limited but um, all of your cPanel accounts should look similar to this and you can scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see backup administration and you can drag this and move this around um, if you want to move it up or whatnot um, but this is by default it's down here and you can see there's a couple different options and I'll walk through each one of these um, first is the dashboard so you can click it now you're gonna notice when you hit the dashboard it wants you to give it um, your email address and that way you can receive notifications when a backup has been made or when a rest restoration has taken place so I do recommend um, updating that but it, um, this is just a dashboard. It shows everything, um, all your different options. But um, we're going to go through each one of these individually. So I'm just going to click back here. And um, I want to talk about first the domain restore. So if you need to restore your entire domain, and this can even be an add-on domain inside your account, you would click domain restore. Um, you can see here my example is restorejames.namehero.com. So this is the only domain in my account. Um, it, of course, if you have add-ons, then they'll be listed down below here. Um, to restore it, I would just select here, and I would select the backup. Now, you'll notice in this account, I've got two available backups. Um, most are just going to have the one, um, and so it's going to be the, the nightly, which is uh, 6.05.2017, and it's two megabytes. So to restore this, I would just select this, and I would click on Restore. Now, I don't want, there's nothing to restore in this account, so... Um, I can click it and it's just going to it's just going to restore pretty much nothing because there's nothing inside of that um, account. Um, but you can see the requested domain restore has started. Kindly monitor the restore log file. So now I can just go to my logs here and restore in progress. It's already completed some restore logs and it's going to just you can download it here and just review the log um, that the that the restore did take place successfully. Okay, let's go back. Um, you can also do a database restore. Let's say you have a WordPress database, you made a mistake, and you need to revert back. You would just click database restore. Um, you can see I do not have any databases in here. So if I don't have any, of course, they're not there. But it's the same as the domain. I would just select which database it is, select my backup, and then click restore. If I go back here, I can also do an email restore. Once again, I don't have any email addresses in this account, but this is the same. I would have the emails that would be listed here. I would select the backup and then restore. So this is a, this is particularly useful if you accidentally delete an email account and like, oh man, I actually I needed some emails that was in there. Well, you can go back and actually just restore that one account without restoring the whole cPanel because you might not want to restore everyone's emails, especially if you have multiple um, users. So now I'm going to go back here. Um, you can restore just your home directory um, some of you may have multiple domains inside of your home directory so you could click restore home and once again you would just select um, which um, backup it is and then you would um, click restore home directory so remember the home directory contains all of your files um, so not databases but it, it, it contains all of your um, 
email addresses and as well as your website files. So when you do that, do it with caution because you are going to overwrite any of your current emails and stuff like that. Go down here. Um, you can do a file or directory restore, and this is really cool, actually. So let's say you accidentally delete a folder or a file that you need, and it, just just one file. Um, you can put that in here. It's the same as the others. You would select which backup, uh, which most likely is going to be the daily, and then you would just enter the path to the file. So you can see it starts by home slash restore. This is just um, default, um, and then of course your public HTML folder is where all your files are kept. And then you could just type in an individual file. So maybe it's the index. So index.php perhaps. And, and this is going to restore just that one file. So in my opinion, this is the best um, selling point about the backup software. Is you don't have to restore everything. If you just deleted one file, you can just go ahead and pull that. Um, same thing if you just want to restore a directory. Um, I know we've had several cases in our support department at Name Hero where someone accidentally deletes their WP content folder. So if you wanted to replace, um, restore that you would just type in WP uh, dash content and click restore and then of course you can monitor a log file after you do that and it's going to uh, just restore that one folder so again that's another great way just to stay on top of all your files and um, you know and feel safe and, and secure and then of course you've got a, a quick link here to the logs so we can review that log we just did and then, of course, you can check the restore progress because if you restore the whole account or whole home directory and it's very large, it might take you know longer than five minutes to do it. So you could kind of monitor the log file to make sure everything um, you know restores as it's intended. Um, but that's it's pretty straightforward. Um, some of our older servers um, don't have the new GUI, which it still works pretty much the same. Um, but again, this is a huge selling point, especially to our resellers. You can tell your customers, you know, sleep sound, um, you know, knowing your backup, your data is backed up automatically every single night and there's nothing you have to do. It just backs up. Um, again, as long as you're not over that 20 gigabyte limit or that 100,000 inodes, then it just works seamlessly. Now, it is important to note, uh, I always like to tell customers that, you know, this is provided complimentary. You should always keep a backup on your desktop or, or on your computer. Um, I, I, um, personally, I, I always back up all my stuff at least once a month and then keep a local copy just in case. So you have it in multiple places. Um, but again, we do provide this service and it is free of charge. Uh, there's no upsell or anything to it. Again, it just works. If you have any questions on how this works, feel free to reach out to us and let us know. Um, if you want our if our support team, they can always generate these backups for you as well or restore these backups for you as well. Just let us know what you need to restore. And of course, no, once we do restore it, there's no going back from that. Um, once the, the data has been restored, then it has been restored. Um, and there's no, there's no jumping back forward, if that makes sense. Uh, but feel free to let us know if you have any questions. That's how the system works. Pretty straightforward. Um, automatically, once a night. Normally, it's around midnight um, central time. So, or the earlier hours. So, 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning central time zone. So, if you're in a different time zone, it might be a little bit different. Um, but when you go to do your restore, you can always just look here. And um, it, it, it will tell you at least the date. And all of our servers just work on plain UTC date, um, meaning that it turns um, it turns midnight, I believe it, currently 7 o'clock central time is when the date rolls over for UTC. Um, but that's just kind of how it works and, and um, how you go about restoring and managing your backups. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks a bunch for watching and thanks for your business at namehero.com.